Hey guys, Kyla from Mummies. We are time for an edition of what I've been reading. It's a little bit of an eclectic mix this go around. We're going to start with this. Yeah, David Spade. I bought this for my husband for Christmas last year. Um, so it is like a memoir. Oh, <laughs> um, it's funny. The best parts of it, like for me, Saturday Night Live was really amazing when it was Adam Sandler and Chris Farley and Spade and that whole scene, right? That takes me to my, um, my teenage years, my Saturday nights. Yeah, I was at home. <laughs> anyway, so that is the best part of this book. What's cool is there's, you know, memoirs of the stuff about when he was a kid and his family and growing up. And that's kind of some sad stuff in there. I mean, he had a rough, kind of childhood growing up, but it's also quite funny. Um, I love the stuff about Saturday Night Live in here, like when he made it onto the show and he's hanging out with Chris Farley and him and Rob Schneider, they don't get along very well. Mm -mm. That was interesting. It, there's some crass stuff in here. Um, there's some sexual things in here that I don't like. It's rude to women. So, I mean, I can get over that, but I don't have to get over that if I don't want to. Um, but I do like when his maid stole a whole bunch of his money. Ha, 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 ha. Serve me right for saying rude things about women. Okay, speaking of women. Uh, um, I don't know why I never did that before. That's really... Do we look the same? Are we the same person? No, no. Um, I enjoyed this book. Lauren Graham doesn't give up much. Um, you know, it's not laugh out loud funny like I find like a Mindy Kaling or an Amy Schumer or um, Chelsea Handler or who else that I read. Like I don't, but it was really cool to, you know, you're reading about her life and the absolute best part which I'm thinking is probably why this book came out, this is her second book, is she does lots of um, what it was like to go back to Gilmore Girls and what it was like to do that kind of reboot, those four episodes for Netflix, and little kind of behind-the-scene things that aren't behind-the-scene things but make you want to go back and watch all four of the episodes again. Um, I, I mean, if you've got a, a Gilmore Girls fan in your life, chances are they already have this book, but if they don't, I suggest that you get it for them. Why will that never be weird? Um, okay, so this is the other one that I read, uh, The Girls, Emma Klein. Why do I like books named The Girls? But um, her, I tore through this one like a son of a gun. That should mean it was a great book, right? It was okay. It, it hit a little bit about uh, a young woman and she's growing up and then she ends up getting involved with a, in a cult. And then there's a crime uh, that the cult commits, and that's the story. And so she's there's two parts to it. So she's an adult and telling the story, and then as she's a young 14-year-old living this life in the cult. So I tore through it because it was kind of fascinating. Um, okay, yeah, I did like it. Is it the best thing I ever read? No, but I liked it. This book is getting amazing reviews from my group of friends, um, The Tiger's Wife, and I'm finding it just starting off a little bit slow. I read when I go to bed. So if I'm tired and I start to read something and it just doesn't grab me by the nether region, then it just takes me a little bit to read. Um, but my friends all love this book, all the girls in my book group, so I'm, I'm going to keep at it. 